Good morning, good morning, good morning to everybody. I pray that you had a restful sleep. I pray that you're up and ready to give God your first fruit. I thank God for giving us our activity of our limbs and our right mind and that we are here to give him glory, honor, and praise. Welcome to Commanding Your Morning Day 136. In the name of Jesus, our thought for today is perceive with your spiritual sight perceive with your spiritual sight in the name of jesus glory to your name god physical eye has not seen nor physical ear heard nor have entered into the heart understanding of man the things which god has prepared for those who love him 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. That is 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. So let's go on into the word of God, guys, and get our wisdom on this morning. Hallelujah. 2 and 9 says, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by the Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man, which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Hallelujah. Guys, I have said this in another segment as well. The things of God are free. Anything is secret is God's. So these societies and different beliefs and things that have these secrets, that is not God. Hallelujah, glory to your name, God. They, they, they trying to play God. God said all secret things are his and all things that reveal belong to man. So hallelujah, shouldn't be any secrets. It should be open and revealed in the mighty name of Jesus. So I thank God for his word on this morning. And I thank him for the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding in Jesus' name. So let's go on and a little further into commanding our morning on this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When we come to God in prayer, it is not only a time to lay our concerns and requests before God. But it is also a time for us to close our physical eyes and seek to perceive with our spiritual ones. It is time for us to open our <clears throat> spiritual ears and listen for the Holy Spirit to speak to us. Often we mistake him for our own thoughts. And sometimes we mistake our own thoughts for the Holy Spirit speaking, but with practice, just as infants learn to, hallelujah, distinguish their mother's voice from all the others in their world, so we learn to know the voice of the Good Shepherd. Such things must be perceived spiritually and such spiritual hallelujah atonement to the things of God comes through prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's how you will be able to learn God's voice is through prayer. Hallelujah. He is prayer. God stole, stole away in different seasons in his life just to pray so that he can have that show sure enough time to pray. So if we are in prayer and we are making prayer, hallelujah, essential in our life on a daily, we will learn the voice of God in the name of Jesus. You will hear his spirit speaking to you. You will hear him letting you know, 
Hallelujah. Something you have prayed about. He may come to you in a voice. Hallelujah. And you need to know God's voice from any other voice in your head or any other voice that you listen to on a daily. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Guys, this is important. Hallelujah. That we learn God's voice in the name of Jesus and know that he is God over all, hallelujah, that he will direct us in the right path. He is the good shepherd, hallelujah. He is the good news, hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. And we need to learn to be able to know his voice aside from any other voice that's in our head or that we hear in Jesus' name, okay? Amen. Now let's go on into prayer for this morning. Glory to your name, God. Father, anoint my ears to hear your voice with clarity and my eyes to see things as you see them. I refuse to be held back by limiting beliefs and small thinking. Cleanse my mind with the water of your word so I can become, hallelujah, attuned to your will. I know you desire to speak to me, sharpen my discernment so I can receive from you without hindrance. In Jesus name, amen. Thank you God. Hallelujah. Help us to be able to cultivate what you're saying to us. Download what you're saying to us without hindrance, oh God. Help us to hear your voice with clarity, hallelujah, humbleness, hallelujah, and meekness, oh God. Hallelujah, help us to be gentle, hallelujah, to your spirit, and gentle to your, hallelujah, speaking, your actions, in the name of Jesus, anything concerning you, oh God. Help us to have order, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Help us to be obedient, in the mighty name of Jesus, of everything that you, hallelujah, have created, and that you are calling declarations and requests, requests of our lives, hallelujah, in different situations of our lives. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you right now. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for the wisdom to understand, hallelujah, my kingdom assignment or our kingdom assignments today in the name of Jesus, and that we will walk them out, and that we will master them, and that we will be king, hallelujah, sensitive to, hallelujah, hallelujah, you speaking to us, and that our eyes will be sensitive, hallelujah, to see the way you see things, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, God, I thank you right now, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, amen. Guys, y'all have a blessed day, know God love you. No, I love you. Let's go out here and do this thing big and master this in Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Amen.